This is the second video in a series of videos I'm doing on the review of the Yes Welder YWM200 multi-process MIG slash aluminum welding machine. In the first video, I talked about some of the specifics about the machine and what items it comes with and went over some basic MIG welding, both in 110 and 220 volt supply power settings. In this video, it's specific just for the aluminum capabilities of the machine and using a Yes Welder spool gun. For MIG welding aluminum with the new Yes Welder multi-process welder. I've got the machine all set up. I'll be using 100% argon along with the uh, Yes Welder spool gun. I'll link all these items in the description if, for those of you who are interested. And if you haven't seen that first video and you would like to, I'll link that in the description as well. I'm gonna be using some .035 4043 Vulcan welding uh, aluminum MIG wire. Just picked that up at Harbor Freight. It was the best price I could find, and, and it's actually not too bad. It, it welds pretty decent, or it did on my previous video when I did the uh, spool gun videos on the Yes Welder MIG 250 Pro. And I just want to go through the Synergic as well as the standard or manual settings on this new machine on the YWM200 and on uh, I'll be using some quarter inch and one eighth inch coupons aluminum coupons for this so let me get everything set up and rearranged we'll get over to the uh, welding table and we'll run some welds and we'll see how it does All right, I've got the uh, YWM200 set up with the Yes Welder spool gun. And I've been running a couple of practice beads here just to test it out and make sure the thing works. I'm now in the manual selection and I've got a couple of eighth inch aluminum coupons here. I'm gonna tack up a T-joint, run a billet weld. We'll see how close I am. And then I'll play around with the settings a little bit. I've got 16.3 volts and 10 on the wire feed speed. I noticed that the soot wasn't too bad. There was almost no soot just right at the beginning of the weld. The bottom toe looks a little bit cold to me. I'm going to turn up the voltage by about a half a volt. We'll go to 16.8 and we'll stay at 10 on the wire feed speed. I'll run a joint on the back side of this and we'll see how that does. Well, that does look better. Reduced the spatter and it sounded a little bit better. I think I could still fine tune that a little bit. But again, the soot doesn't look bad at all and the weld looks halfway decent. The bottom toe of the weld looks better. A little off center on the beginning, but uh, got better as I went along. All right, I've got myself a 1 8 inch lap joint set up here. Same settings I used on the uh, T-joint. Let's try this and see what happens. Again, this is with the spool gun welding with the new Yes Welder YWM200. Settings are 16.8 on the volts in the manual settings with 10 on the meters per minute on wire speed.
That looks better. I think uh, I went a little too slow, but let me, I'll show it. To, I'll still show it to you. What the heck? We're all friends here, right? <laughs> oh goodness. A little too slow on the uh, travel speed, I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Those of you who's got some MIG aluminum spool gun time under your belts, let me know what you think about that. Let me brush it. We'll have a look at that after, after I brush it and see what it looks like. All right, let's try a quarter inch aluminum coupon with the uh, Yes Welder spool gun. And I'm using manual settings. For this I've got 21 volts just right off the chart 21 volts 14.5 meters per minute on the wire feed speed Not bad, not bad at all. Show that one to you. Let me brush it. This one I'll do it on the back side, and um, now the piece is hot, so it's going to make a difference. It wasn't quite into spray arc there. I'm going to change the voltage. We're at 21 volts. I'm going to bump that up 24 volts. So 24 volts, 14.5 on the meters per minute. And that was better. Probably stand to go up maybe a half a volt, but uh, let me show that one to you. It's not a bad looking well. Let me brush it. A little bit of spatter on that one. I think I could have turned the voltage up a little bit more, maybe 25 volts. But with some practice and adjustments on those settings, I think it does a pretty darn nice job with the uh, Yes Welder YWM200 in conjunction with the Yes Welder spool gun. Pretty nice little combo. I think on the next video, I'm going to show the stick welding. Click the video on the screen now to go to that video, and we'll see you over there.